Once the production is finished, render any playlist that you might want to use outside of the 3Play to the clip list. Now exit the live production mode by using the file menu and selecting exit. You will be asked if you are sure you want to exit. Click exit. From here you will have access to the content created in the session. If you click on the clips button you will see all the rendered playlists exported to the clip list. The Stills button will show you the Capture folder holding all stills created with the Grab button during the session. And the Sound and Music button shows you all imported music in the session. The Export Media panel will allow you to select any angle from any event to export as a wide variety of file formats. You will also have access to any playlists that have been rendered to the clip list. Hit the Export Media button. Now hit the Add button. You can select individual camera angles here to export. Control clicking allows for multiple selection of angles. You can also select an event ID and all camera angles of that event will be sent to the export panel. There is no way to preview this video from here so be sure to look at the clips and events in the live desktop and take notes on what you want to export. Once items are selected, hit the OK button. This loads the clips into the export panel. Each clip can be set up individually or you can multi-select by shift or control clicking and adjust them as a group. Now first you can select the target. This is a use type for the clip to be exported. What will it be used for? Next, you have a preset for that target. For instance, a target of application will show nonlinear editors as the presets. If you change the target to video servers, you will see presets change to video server types. Next, you can configure the export destination. Use the drop-down menu and select Browse. This can be any drive available on the system. You can duplicate clips to export to multiple formats at once. And you can apply clip headers to add a few seconds to the front and the back of a clip on export to facilitate editing. Once all the clips are configured, you can hit the export button. To transport the three-play session to another machine, you will need all of the hard drives. There is no way to back up a session on a three-play 4800. Upon exiting the three-play session, an EDL will be created for external use in NLEs. This EDL or edit decision list is found on the session drive under media, EDL and your session name.